I don't know about you, but I can't even believe that it's after Labor Day. I mean, thanks to the coronavirus, I have lost all track of time. Half the time, I don't even know what day it is, unless it's Tuesday or Friday, because that's when everybody puts their garbage out. I was not gonna let this summer go by without making one of summer's most cherished desserts, a cherry pie. And I've already pitted my cherries, but if you don't have a cherry pitter, which is what I used, don't worry about it. You can use a reusable straw. And what you do is you just poke a hole in the top of the cherry and the pit will pop right out the other side. And you want to make sure that you can see through it because the last thing you want is someone to be enjoying your delicious cherry pie and break a tooth. That's not in my last video, I made the pie crust, and in this video, I'm making the filling. So I have about a pound and a half to two pounds of cherries. Uh, into that, I am going to sprinkle lemon juice. I'm going to add the tiniest bit, tiniest bit of almond extract. Almond tastes delicious with cherry, but almond extract can make things bitter. So I'm just sprinkling in a quarter teaspoon. And that's it, no more. Now let's combine the lemon juice with our cherries. Also, another word on the cherries. Um, I am confident that all the pits are out. Otherwise I would have sliced the cherries in half. Maybe you should, if you don't have faith in your cherry pitter or your straw pitting skills. Okay, in this bowl, I have two tablespoons of cornstarch into which I'm adding a half cup of sugar. And we're just gonna whisk those together. And then we're gonna pour them into our cherries. Whew. It's snowing in here. and give them a good toss. You wanna to make sure every cherry is coated. Incidentally, my oven is preheating at 400 degrees and you wanna move the bottom rack to its lowest position because that's where you're gonna bake your pie. Now let's get our pie crust. Our pie crust has been chilling in the fridge for an hour. Um, I made the dough I chilled it, then I rolled out the bottom crust, placed it in the pie pan, and chilled it again. Now we're just going to dump our cherries in and just level them out a little bit. That's good. And now a traditional cherry pie, of course, has a lattice crust top. Even after I chilled it, this dough was a little sticky. So I'm adding a little more flour to both sides. And now we're just gonna roll it out as though we were gonna use it as a full top crust. Now we are going to cut strips about an inch apart. So first let's just tidy up the sides. We've got our strips cut and now we're gonna make the top. Now you could totally fake a lattice top just by laying strips one way and then laying strips across them, but you know, we're already in this deep. Why would you do that? We're gonna start by laying our strips across the top. And I did these freehand without a ruler, so they're not perfect, but we don't care, do we? I don't think so. Now we take the two here. And lay one piece across. Put that back. these 
these down. And lay another piece across. And put them back. These two guys again, back, strip, and there you have it. Very simple. And trim the edges. We're just going to fold over the edge a little bit. And you know, it's not perfect, but we are home cooks. So we don't care. And I'm just going to give them a little crimp. And there we go. Is it perfection? It is not. Is it pretty? You bet it is. Is it going to taste good? Absolutely. Now, in this bowl, I have a large egg yolk mixed with one tablespoon of water to make an egg wash. And we're going to brush it over the whole crust. And now we will sprinkle the top with one tablespoon of sugar. And it'll give it that nice, crispy, crunchy crust on top. We're gonna bake it for 20 minutes at 400. Remember, it's on the rack in the lowest position. And then we're gonna put a tent of foil over it and bake it for another 40 to 50 minutes. Um, and the reason that you do that is so that the crust doesn't get too dark on top. So let's put it in the oven. All right, our pie is out of the oven. And um, is it a winner in the looks department? No, it is not. But will anybody care while they're eating it? No, they will not. They will appreciate the fact that you baked a homemade cherry pie. And that's all that matters. Now, when you take it out of the oven, you need to cool it on a rack for at least three hours because it's still very soupy and it's got to cool in order to firm up. And um, we are going to enjoy this pie.